Are you recording? Hey y'all, welcome back to Goody's Corner. I mean, your boy back. I mean, with my man Rocco. You know what I mean, introduce yourself, Rocco. Hey, Rocco. Living with my boy here, dressing, playing for the dress models, playing receiver. Yeah, you know, my buddy, I mean, for y'all don't know, y'all caught the first part, you know I mean? My buddy's a European champion, you know I mean? So, you know I mean, tell the people how that feels and how that, what it means to you. It's great. It's, it's the biggest thing you can win in, in Europe. We played against Austria, Finland, and France. We beat France in the final 26-10. It's a great experience, and I think I still can't really believe it. It's just we played Saturday, and now we have Wednesday. It's not that long ago. I think I'm gonna realize it in a couple of weeks. Yeah, you know, we, you know, for y'all, you know, we took a break for a minute, so my man could ball out for the for the national team. So you know, what I mean, so he did his thing. Now we gotta go back. I mean, season about to start up, so you know what I mean. I mean, how does it feel? You know what I mean, you know, you gotta get back in the swing of things from playing football for so like how many games you played in a month? And what, how long was you on the UMP team? Two weeks. We had like camp one week, and then we played three games in in seven days. Three games in seven days. So that's not what we do back home. You usually play football every other week. I mean, every week, but three games in just a week? Yeah. So we I played Saturday, Thursday, Saturday. It was a pretty tight schedule, but that's how it is in the European Championship. It was tough, but we we did our thing. Won that, won that trophy, trophy, and it was style. worth it. It was worth it. So how's your body feeling now? I feel like shit. <laughs> Actually, I do it. Everybody, the summer break is is for a reason because after we played, I think nine games for the Monarchs. Now everybody everybody got the summer break, the rest, and I had to go to the national team, play another three games during the break, and now the we play another four games at least. So. I think this is gonna be the first season. I'm really glad when it's when it's over <laughs> to get my vacation. And but it was worth it every second. And I'm looking forward for the last last games to finish the season the right way. Awesome stuff. So I mean, well, people been wondering back home. Got a lot of questions. But uh, like, uh, how how's football different from uh, here and back home? Like, when do y'all start playing? Personally, I I started playing with 16, and we don't have we don't play in high school or college. We have just club teams. If you're interested in football, you join the club. Then you practice three times a week, play against other club teams, and that's how we do. You nobody wants you to play football. You just play because you love it. You in high school, it's like. I think everybody needs to play football. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. It's like you're going to class, you have to do math and and history and stuff. But and and football. But in Germany, if you like football, you play it. If don't, you play soccer or some other sport. And that's how we do. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. So was there any time where you thought about playing playing uh, soccer? Nah. <laughs> this ball is too round. <laughs> I never really played soccer. I I did canoe on the water. Oh, okay, okay. And then I tried some other sports. I played baseball before football, but baseball is so so little in Germany. Yeah. It's it's too boring. Nobody can hit the ball. <laughs> it's always gonna roll roll on the grass. It's no fun in Germany. Yeah, I mean they basically feel the same way. Cause back home baseball. It's an American sport, but you know I mean, it's a born American sport. I'm sorry for all y'all baseball fans, but you know I mean, your boy D Good ain't no baseball fanatic, but 
I mean, I love the Dodgers. Shout out to them. But, I mean, baseball kind of too boring for you, boy. I need the action. <laughs> I need the action. I feel it. I can feel it, man. So, uh, what was you say? How, how, how long you been with the team? Which team? Uh, the Monarchs. I played my first season of seven. So, this year is my fourth season here. Mm-hmm. And I really like it. They gave me the opportunity to play in the first league. And I love it. I feel it, man. Sure, I can tell you. I mean, I just the thing I've been noticing out here, y'all, y'all love the game so much. I mean, like you, like uh, like you was telling me before, like y'all really don't get paid for this. No, it's actually only the in our team only the import players get paid, and all the other players you have to study or you you have to work, you have your family, you have to take care of them. So almost. To everybody, football can't be the number one priority, but we still come to practice three times a week, go to the gym the other days, just to make sure we we be in shape. We invest a lot of time and, of course, a lot of money because we have a couple of players who have to come from different cities to play in the first league, and they they have to spend even more time, and we just do it. Because we love the game. Yeah, man, that's how it's supposed to be. I mean, for y'all back home, over there crying and complaining about this and that, you know what I mean? These cats out here playing ball because they love the game. That's how it's supposed to be. If you don't feel like it, I mean, you don't love the game, you ain't passionate, you just need to lead the game because the game ain't for you there, you know what I mean? Shoot. You see what I mean? It's supposed to be about, you know I mean, you grew up playing the game back home. I know back home we uh, start playing at five or four or five years old. I mean, that's when you start really knowing the game, loving the game, but, uh, I mean, it's, the game, you should be passionate about the game, that's how I feel, but, I mean, but it is what it is, I mean, just basically, you got any shout-outs you want to put out there before, you know what I mean, we bounce up out of here? European champions, number one in this, number one in Europe, and I love this game. <laughs> that's what's up, you know what I mean? But, but before I bounce up out of here, I gotta let the people know how was the celebration at the game? Cause I ain't get to see it when uh, when I did the first goodies corner. But I mean, go ahead and explain how the nightlife was. What's crazy? We were up, up, right up the game. We got the medals, the trophy. Everybody was so excited. We celebrated. We. I think it took me one and a half hours to get up the field. Just having fun with all the other guys from Germany, and after that we went to the club. Everybody, we all went to the same club. We got some players from the other teams there, from England, France, Austria, all celebrated with us our win. And I think I came home at five. It was a crazy night. <laughs> I can't remember we a lot a lot of things from the club, but you know, it was great. I remember when I was passed out on the bed and all of a sudden I get someone pulling the cover off me. Yeah, and, uh, because I came home to the hotel room and who was sleeping in my bed? This man right here. <laughs> so I decided to grab the, the blankets, just throw them on the ground and sleep on them. But it was okay. Nah, man, I had some hours of sleep. I could have shut the door because it was cold, man. I was freezing my little gonads off, so you know what I mean? But it's all good. I had to improvise, I had the hoodie on the legs, so I was cool. You know what I'm saying? It was a great night. A great night. I mean, dollar drink, so that was even better. One dollar a drink. You know I mean, my boy, you know I mean, I ain't gonna put you out there. You know I mean, my boy gonna fall off the stage. You know I mean, I ain't a player, bro. You, I'm just making sure you're all right, man. Nah, I'm good. Okay. We danced hard, and then suddenly, I don't know, I tripped, and... I think I think I I jumped and and I landed on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> but in yeah, the summer at all, it was a crazy night, a fun night. Frankfurt, a lovely city, lovely party town. But you know what I mean, yeah, I gotta come out here and visit. You know what I mean, I'm sorry I couldn't put the. I'm deeply sorry I couldn't put it all on there because. You know what I mean, I gotta upgrade my camera. If y'all wanna upgrade it for me, I mean, y'all more than welcome. You know what I mean, you can lend me a camera, a camcorder or something, but it's all good. If you want to, just hit me up on my email, hit me on the Twitter, 
or hit me on the Facebook or hit me on the, the website Goody16. But you know what I mean? Stay tuned in that. Look at the credits and uh, follow all that. And uh, get ready for next next week against Brunswick. Next, next week against Brunswick, right? Play Brunswick. And I mean, we play them. It's going to be a tough game. Good game. Play that home. So, you know what I mean? See, I'm, I'm going to look at the Goody Corner group. Look at my website. I'm going to post up the game. Post up the highlights from last weekend when your buddy played DB. You know I mean, I played DB since middle school. So, y'all probably wonder how I played. But uh, stay tuned to that, you know what I mean? And just keep looking for the goodies corner. You know, your boy about to get out of here with my buddy Rocco. You know what I mean? I know I said it before, but if the same thing pop in the mind, you want to say before we hit him? I love you all. I, I don't know. Well, buddy loves, buddy love everybody back home. So, you know what I mean? The love for you, miss everybody back home. Miss, miss my mom, my dad, my little one. All my homeboys, you know what I mean? I'll be back when I come back. It's gonna be fun, be wild. You know what I mean? Hey, and watch out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come visit. Ooh, yeah. Rocco come to the Natty. I'm gonna let y'all you know all y'all females back in the Natty. Be Rocco. You know what I mean? It's the introduction. So when I come back, y'all can tell me what's good. You can hit my boy on the Skype. You can get his number. <laughs> hit him on the Facebook. Right. Hit him on anything he got, so you know what I mean? So if y'all willing to put y'all put y'all bid in now, let me know now on the Facebook, Twitter, goody under slash 513 under slash 16, or the goody16, or you want to get me on the U ucfly16 at AOL.com, or you want to get at me on the, uh, on, the, on my website, go ahead, but, you know, buddy Rocco, look out for him, he'll be in the natty, but otherwise, Boys out, thank you for tuning in.